How is it going everybody Mr. Android here? Well, if you are a pro Android user, then you might heard of developer options. These are some advanced features that are hidden from you, but if you want, you can still access them quite easily. With that being said, in today's video, I will be showing you 8 useful developer settings that you should enable on your device right now. Guys, make sure to watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for 1500 likes on this video. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first thing first, let me show you how to enable developer options in your phone. So if you haven't already, all you have to do is, go to your settings, about phone, software information, tap on this build number for 7 times. Once you are done, you will have this brand new hidden menu called as developer options in your settings. Simply go inside and from here, you can activate a lot of cool features on your phone. I will be showing you only the useful and essential settings one by one, so stay tuned and watch the entire video. First thing that I want to talk about is stay awake. By default, if you go to display, here you can set only up to 10 minutes of screen timeout. What it means is, your screen goes off after 10 minutes of inactivity and again you need to unlock your device. In case if you want to keep your screen on constantly, all you have to do is select developer options and enable this option called stay awake. This allows your phone to stay awake all the time when it's connected to a charging cable. Next, we have something called as running services. If you go inside running services, it shows you all the apps and services that are running in the background. Guys, even if you clear all your apps from the recent menu, some still runs in the background and consume a lot of your RAM. This is an extremely useful option by using which you can check all the unwanted apps and services that are consuming your RAM in the background. If I want to close any app or services, I just need to tap on it and simply select stop. This way you can close all the unnecessary apps and make your device feel a lot faster. Next in the developer option, you will find something called as mobile data always active. Once you turn this on, what it does is, whenever your Wi-Fi signal is weak or inactive, it switches on your mobile data automatically. So you don't have to manually turn on this toggle and you will have seamless switching between Wi-Fi and mobile network. Well, it definitely consumes a bit more battery, but if you always want to stay connected with the internet, then you can surely enable this option. Moving on, if I open my notification panel, you see I have this new option called sensors off. Once I turn this on, it disables all the sensors on my phone. For example, now if I open my camera, you can see it's not working. Let me show you how to enable this feature on your device. All you have to do is, go to developer options, scroll it down till you find quick settings developer tiles. Just go inside and enable this option called sensors off. That's it. Now you will have a brand new toggle called sensors off in your quick settings. I think it's a great feature for those who are really concerned about privacy and don't want any apps or websites to use these sensors. Next in the developer option, we have something called as USB default configuration. This setting will be applied when your phone is connected to a PC or a laptop. Basically, whenever you connect your device to your desktop, it asks you whether you want to charge your phone or transfer the files. So instead of confirming each time, you can select the default option which you would like to apply whenever you want to connect your phone. Since I connect my device to transfer files all the time, I have chosen the first option which is transferring files. You can choose any of this based on your preference. Nowadays, most of the smartphones comes with 90Hz or 120Hz refresh rate. I have the Galaxy A52 with me which has the 90Hz and the S21 Plus which comes with 120Hz display. If your device has a higher refresh rate, then there is an option in the developer settings which lets you see the actual refresh rate running on your screen. All you have to do is, go to your developer options and search for show refresh rate. Once you enable this, it will show you the exact refresh rate on the top left corner of your screen. Since my device has an adaptive display, it switches from 60 to 120 Hz frequently based on the usage. Next, we have one of my favorite setting in the developer option, which is the animation scale. I know most of you must be knowing this, but since this video is all about developer options, I have to include this feature. Guys, if you want to reduce the animation speed and make your phone feel faster, then go inside developer settings and scroll it down till you find animation scale. Make sure you reduce all three animation scale to 0.5x. Once you are done, your device will feel much faster and snappier. It's one of the best developer setting that you can enable on your phone. Definitely try it out. Alright, finally let's talk about dark mode. If I go to my quick settings and enable dark mode on my phone, it still does not apply to certain apps such as Amazon, Flipkart and Paytm. So to fix this and force dark mode in all applications, just go to your developer settings, force dark mode. Once you turn it on, it forces most apps to use dark mode even if it's not fully supported. 
So that's pretty much it guys. These are some useful developer settings that you should enable on your device right now. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.